is available right now on ESPN.com. And here are the big board rankings. Ohio State's C.J. Stroud is Mel's top quarterback and number three overall prospect. Uh, Will Anderson Jr. of Bama and Jalen Carter of Georgia are one and two. Will Levis comes in at four overall on Kuiper's rankings. Only one Kentucky quarterback has ever gone in the first round of the NFL draft. That was Tim Couch, who went number one overall in 99. And then Bryce Young rounds out the top five, or right, the top quarterbacks at five overall. He won the Heisman last year. He would be the fourth Alabama quarterback taken in the first round of the NFL draft, assuming it goes that way. So those are the top five overall prospects in this draft. Three of them are quarterbacks. Anthony Richardson is fourth, a dual threat, seven passing, six rushing touchdowns this year. And then Hendon Hooker, who is surging up the boards right now, certainly has moved his way into the Heisman conversation. His team is number one in the country. They play the biggest game of the year this coming weekend. And Mel right now has him late in the first round at number five overall. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who invented the draft is with us, Mel Kuyper Jr. I want to go over these QBs, Mel, because this is what the fans are fascinated by. Bryce Young, he's the one we all know best. Why is he the third best quarterback on the board? It's a size. You're five eleven and a half. About you think about one eighty five, one ninety. Greeny, that's something we haven't had at the top of the first round ever, really. So I think you look at at Bryce Young. He's the ultimate point guard. He processes better than any of the quarterbacks I've seen in recent memory. So there's a lot to love about Bryce Young. You just wish he was a little bigger. He doesn't have the frame of a Russell Wilson or a Kyler Murray. So he's not going to be able to put on a lot of weight. Can he hold up at 5'11 and a half, say 185, 190 in NFL? That's going to be the question moving forward at the pro level. Yeah, and Stroud obviously is special, and we see him every weekend at Ohio State. And I'm fascinated, and I'm sure a lot of people are, by Hendon Hooker again. Uh, has he played his way into the first round, and how much is at stake for him personally in this monster matchup against Georgia this weekend? Individual games really don't mean a lot. Now, I know it's going to be a huge game, and everybody's going to look at Hendon Hooker and say this will define him as a pro prospect. Normally, that doesn't. If you go too high on a guy or too low based on this one big game, it usually leads you in bad directions. So I go back to Culpepper when he played Auburn, or Josh Allen when he played Iowa, or Roethlisberger playing Iowa, Manning against Florida, Troy Aikman against Rodney Pete. All those things don't matter. At the end of the day, it's about do you have the talent necessary. Hooker does have, doesn't have elite arm strength, but he's incredibly accurate. And he doesn't make mistakes. He does not throw interceptions. Game manager, more than that, this guy is a great decision maker. What he's done at Tennessee with Josh Heupel has been unbelievable. He's got great receivers. He's got a great line. They can run the ball. So there's a great talent around him. But Hendon Hooker has moved, I think, into the late first round discussion. At worst, the second rounder. All right, and, and you know, I'm going to go off script here because I just want to ask you this question because this game means everything. Who do you like this weekend? Who do you think wins Tennessee at Georgia with the entire world at stake? I'll tell you what you have to do if you're Georgia is run the football. That offensive line with Van Pran at center and Broderick Jones in those backs – Keep Tennessee off the field. Run the football downhill. Tennessee's defense is a issue. I think you can throw the ball as well against Tennessee. Score points if you're Georgia because Tennessee's going to do that. They're going to light it up. Now, they got Tillman back now. they got three outstanding receivers. Jalen Hyatt's been the sensation of college football. He's been unstoppable as a wide receiver with that elite speed and that game-breaking ability. Then you think of the O-line, which neutralized Will Anderson Jr. in the Alabama green greening. Vegas is begging everybody to take Tennessee at eight. Are you kidding? Georgia eight point favorite over Hooker and this offense. It's unstoppable. They are begging you to take the volunteers. Usually when that happens, it doesn't work out well, but I'm going to go down uh, with the eight plus eight with the Tennessee volunteers. I don't know who's going to win, but I would take the eight. But like I say, Vegas is begging us to do that. So says Mel Kuyper, and we'll be doing this regularly as we work our way towards the end of April. Mel, you're the best. Great to see you. Thank you very much. And we've got great games coming up. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.